Good day, everyone. This is Gula Manana of the Arts and Culture of um, of Wellness. So I have been covering since April 2023 um, a series on death, grief, and and losses that experience um, uh, people experience. So I've been uh, giving explanation and how and case examples on how um, this type of um, experiences um, a therapy you know, is, is available and can be a tool and a method of addressing um, grief, death or loss um, um, through creativity. So um, the type I'm, I'm covering today is out of the 25 that I've identified is inhibited grief. So this is a common issue among individuals who have experienced loss, but they are unable to express their emotions in a healthy way. Um, so there are negative outcomes such as depression, anxiety, even physical illness. So one of the effective methods of an addressing inhibited grief is through art therapy, um, through engaging in creative activities such as painting, drawing, sculpturing, collaging, and other forms of at making um, those individuals can access and process their emotions in a non-verbal way, allowing for a deeper exploration of feelings and can lead to greater sense of emotional release and healing. So art therapy can also be used to help individuals overcome their emotional challenges, such as trauma, addiction, and relationship issues. So through the use of various art materials and techniques, those individuals can explore their inner world in a safe and supportive environment. So the therapist acts as a guide, helping that individual navigate their emotion and providing support and encouragement along the way. So overall, we find art therapy is a powerful tool for promoting emotional healing and personal growth, specifically in the case of inhibited grief and other forms of grief, really. So thank you so much. This is Guguleto Manana of the Art and Culture of Wellness channel. Um, I hope you'd have a listen. I'm covering other 25 types of grief and that you would join me in my quest to spread the awareness of mental health um, and working through our mental health and healthy, healthily and um, through creative expression. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye.